Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back. This is yet another game between University of North Texas and University of Houston. This is game number two, and playing as the purple Zerg on dual site in the green position, I suppose that's like the 8 o'clock position on the map, we have Tropical Bob, a.k.a. Casey Zendelet, which is a very, very cool last name, Casey, and ooh, maybe should not throw my mouse around quite so much. And playing as the orange Zerg on the lava half of the map, I suppose the 2 o'clock position, we have Giant Panther, a.k.a. Michael Paulison. So, game number one went to University of Texas, University of North Texas, excuse me, uh, with Binsky Light holding off a very, very crazy six pool. So, could we be seeing some more aggression? It's entirely possible. I have no idea. I certainly hope not. I do enjoy those longer, crazier macro games, and so far we have both players just macroing up at getting that Overlord, getting drones. So currently both players are staying even in supply. It does look like Tropical Bob is just barely ahead, just one or two seconds ahead, adding on one more drone, yeah. So it looks like both players are droning up. We see gas first for both players. So going for 14 gas for you Zergs who are learning. Uh, higher level play. Seeing two people do this the exact same time on this particular map, dual site, would be a sort of, you know, hint, hint, nudge, nudge that this would be a good build. And let's see if both of them go for a pool. Yep, they do in fact go for a pool at the same time. Just try to line your timings up with Tropical Bob instead of Giant Panther because he is now getting a good four or five seconds ahead. So we could actually see this manifest itself in four or five seconds earlier speed, which could be used to do a run by. Um, I actually don't know quite how much you could get away with speed in only five seconds, maybe picking off one drone, but we see he's staying four um, gas ahead as far as income. He's about 100 income ahead, and here we now start to see a little bit of a division. Looks like Tropical Bob is now only now getting his Overlord, so getting back up to 16 supply, grabbing that Overlord and gonna be supply blocked for just a second yeah he is at 18 supply and is extractor tricking to get out those zerglings so did forget his overlord sets him just a little bit behind but he is now getting out those zerglings and it does look like giant panther is actually dropping spine crawler he is getting speed but no zerglings there only two zerglings yet so it does look like giant panther is going to be on the defensive. Reminder, Giant Panther, the Orange Zerg, is playing for University of Houston, whereas Tropical Bob is playing for University of North Texas. So here we do have the Zerglings on their way out across the map, and here are the other two as well. So let's see. And uh-oh, super quick baneling that's going down for Tropical Bob. Looks like he is going to try to put on the pressure. He does only have two of his harvesters in gas, is spawning larva. Has more and more Zerglings rallied across the map. I don't know if they have been spotted by uh, Giant Panther just yet, and truly they have been now, as they did just pass under that Overlord, and uh-oh, two Zerglings against four, not always a favorable engagement, and two more do show up, but Giant Panther pulls back, he does not overextend, great, great thinking ahead, this Queen and Spinecrawler should be able to hold until, oh, the Baneling Nest is now finished, These the Queen and Spinecrawler should be able to hold until speed finishes, but uh-oh, here come the first four Banelings, let's see if they can manage their way into the mineral line and hit that uh, ever so crucial drone supply. Meanwhile, more and more Zerglings are just rallied across the map. If we take a look at income, it does look like Giant Panther is just barely ahead. And uh oh, here come the Banelings trying to catch some of the other units off of position. Two Queens are out now. They should be focus firing the Banelings. And the Banelings get onto the creep. They do get by. Two Banelings do go down. Another one is about to go down. The third one gets into the mineral line, but it doesn't manage to kill off the drones. And now the Zerglings are trying to clean up some of the drones. A lot of drones now going down. These Zerglings are doing a lot of damage attacking those damaged uh, drones and oh man tropical, tropical Bob still has those Zerglings in there he needs to clean them up finally manages to do so and we just take a look at the workers killed seven workers killed as far as income it is 18 harvesters to nine tropical Bob is just sitting on the defensive he is taking his natural he's got his Zerglings and Banelings sitting back at home he knows he got a great hit definitely feeling very very comfortable however it's just going to be a question of his defense he does not have a spine crawler his main is relatively undefended compared to uh 
Got Giant Panthers, and here comes Giant Panthers counterattack. A lot of Zerglings morphing inside of the Baneling Nest. That's terrible. The Banelings could get in on those cocoons. Oh, this is really bad. And looks like one Baneling Nest does go down. The second also about to go down. The other two about to finish. A Baneling does explode on a lot of Zerglings. And here comes the Banelings. One about to finish. Oh, so many Zerglings just got really, really close to dying, but there was an excellent juke back from Tropical Bob, and he does manage to get away with, I believe, the superior number of Zerglings. It's really a tough call, and yes, Tropical Bob does have more Zerglings. He is now chasing uh, Giant Panther across the map. Looking at the supply, it is 35 to 21. That super, super early aggression was huge for Tropical Bob. It really allowed him to get into a comfortable position, and here come the Zerglings now streaming once again into the main. The spine crawlers relocating back into a more defensive position. Two Banelings are morphing in. Two more are already on the way for Giant Panther. Transfuse on the Queens. Queens are getting dangerously low. One manages to go down, and more and more Zerglings are streaming in, but Giant Bob, Tropical Bob pulls back at the last second. Oh, a huge Baneling hit. All of the Banelings detonate and the Zerglings are really, really low, and the drones are undefended once again, pulling to the wrong mineral patch. Oh, they need to be in range of that spine crawler, and the drones need to continue mining. It is ever so important to keep that income up while the Zerglings are sieging on your base. More and more Zerglings are streaming across the map for Tropical Bob. It does look like he's continuing to put on the pressure, not really maggering up so much, now only adding one drone. Taking a look at the income, it is 19 harvesters to 14. So let's see this counterattack here. The Zerglings and Banelings from Tropical Bob, they are going to try to get in and do a little bit more damage. Only two Zerglings for Tropical Panther. They are going to see everything. They are not going to be able to kill those Zerglings. Really need to be saving those Zerglings. And here come the Banelings. One, two, three, four, five. This could be really dangerous for Giant Panther. He doesn't have anything. He has the Zerglings in position. The uh, drones are being pulled. One Baneling does manage to go down. And all oh, the Banelings taking out the spine collar and oh oh a huge baneling hit kills a lot of zerglings for tropical bob and oh looks like one more baneling is about to finish they are so fast on the creep and it does go down tropical bob with some excellent micro and just now the queen is out the drones need to get back to mining they need to help out the queen queen getting dangerously low tropical bob about to kill the queen and now he does have that zergling advantage more and more zerglings are streaming across the map a lot of banelings in production now and these zerglings may actually just be able to a move into that drone line oh my gosh the drone line is just falling to pieces and giant panther ggs out of game number two an incredibly fast zvz on dual site game two once again goes to university of north texas so they do lead this series uh two to zero so thank you guys so much for watching this awesome awesome game and i'll see you in game number three